Well, hello there, and welcome to Die on Right, a special nano edition and game of tones. Uh, sorry for those of you who may have come here for the game tonight, but uh, unfortunately, it is canceled. Hey, Sunny, good to see you. Yeah, um, Aaron is uh, not feeling well, and so he won't be able to game master. I may also end up filling in for his stream later tonight. We'll have to see how that goes. He hasn't uh, said one way or the other yet. Um, yeah. So, let's see. Updated information. Today's grand total of number of words accumulated by Game of Tones participants is 630,090, which, you know, I'm pretty impressed by. Tomorrow is our second elimination period. Um, we haven't done as much this week as we did last week, and that's not surprising. First of all, we have three frontrunners now who have finished NaNoWriMo. I believe they were in this order. It was Siobhan the Writer, Chrysalia, and Coffee Quills. I don't know if anybody else has finished. If you have, let me know in the chat so that we can celebrate your accomplishment. I don't know where other people are at in their writing. Let's see here, I gotta refresh the page here at uh, NaNoWriMo's official site, because it's still showing me yesterday. I haven't gotten a lot done today yet. This is my first big opportunity to sit down. I made sure to attend some of the early morning streamers this time. Got up specifically, went back to bed. Oh, I have, I've done better than I thought. I've done about a thousand words today. I'm at 2,642 words, according to NaNoWriMo. And I've got 21 words I haven't yet added into the queue that I kind of poked out earlier, so. Hello, Masadis. Good to see you. 17k? Awesome. That is great. Good for you. Yeah, this, uh, um, this total is a new personal record for me at this stage. I'm pretty excited about it. Sunny says, I hope he feels better sooner rather than later. Yeah, me too. Um, frankly, we think it's a kidney stone. He's passed them before, you know, but they're very painful, so, you know, he just can't concentrate. Um, Sonny is hoping to hit 10k tonight. Ooh, 18k! Awesome, that's awesome. Yeah, um, I, I think I just said it before you came in, but that's okay. It's, uh, I've, I'm at 22,642, according to the nano site tonight. Hey Gabby, nice to see you. Thank you, I'm very excited about it. It's, uh, it's a new personal record for me at this stage. I've never been so far ahead and I'm very pleased and happy about it. Um, par today, if you are keeping up with the regular rate, is 15,003 words. So, you know, if you're ahead of that, you are ahead of the game. And if you're not, that's okay. You still got lots of time to catch up. It's only day nine. 
well, day 10 if you're in the uh, Eastern Hemisphere. So, you know, it's still lots of time. Lots of time. How's the um, voice and music balance, guys? I am using a slightly different soundtrack today, I think. Oh, Strange Lace is here. Hello, it's been a while since I've seen you. Welcome back. Sunny says it's looking to be a 60k minimum month. I'm hoping for that myself. I'm hoping for 60k and maybe even 70k. That would be absolutely bitchin'. I would just be as pleased as punch if that happened. Music's a tad loud. I can turn it down. That's fine. Thank you very much for letting me know. How's that? Better? I can turn it down more. Um, testing one, two, three, just to give a feel for it. That's better? Okay. Great. And thanks for letting me know, guys, that the balance wasn't good. Um, Sunny says, if I get really lucky, I'll do 100k nano again. That would be awesome. Two nanos. That's great. Strangely says, admittedly struggling with writing today, but then again, this is a slower chapter with some development of my protagonist and a, a deuterotagonist. I don't know what that is. What is a deuterotagonist? A, a co-protagonist, so to speak? I, I don't, I've never seen that word before. I don't know what it means. Oh, and uh, since we last did a broadcast, thank you, Sunmate, for the follow. Masad is going to poke at dinner and is lurking. All right, that's cool. Thanks for lurking. That's great. Ah, okay. According to Wikipedia, says Strange Lace, in literature, the, the deuteragonist or secondary main character, awesome, from ancient Greek, uh, second actor is the mo second most important character after the protagonist and before the triagonist. The deuteragonist may switch between supporting and opposing the protagonist depending on the deuteragonist's own conflict or plot. That's awesome. And Rowan is here to hang out and watch chat, which is great. Thank you very much. I'll appreciate you uh, keeping an eye on things and that'll give me some freedom to write. That's great. I really appreciate that, Rowan. Rowan's here to cheer us on, so... And she was moderating the chat the other night, so I'm sure she'll be happy to moderate again. Of course, I'm presuming. No problem. Okay. Cool. I figure we'll give it a couple minutes before we start. We'll do the first sprint at uh, 15 after the hour, according to my clock, which is in three minutes. And then we'll proceed from there. I'm really eager to get some stuff done. Like I said, I haven't gotten... I, I didn't think I'd gotten much done today. Sunny says, Okay, I have file open. Chapter about one quarter written and about to pull on socks. And then I write. That's the spirit. Oh, and here's the raid. Thank you very much, DM Stretch, for the raid. <laughs> Welcome. Glad to see you guys. Strange Lady says, Hell yeah, let's get this bread. That's right. Um, and Sunny's for for House Mollusca! That's great. The Varangians are at the gates as they come in. DM Stretch, leader of Minor House Har uh, Varangia, in service to Terra. Welcome. Darth Nicholas is in the chat. The leader of House Meles is here. Good to see you. Awesome. I'm glad you're aboard. I was checking out the VOD of your... Because I was sleeping when you guys were doing your writing stream earlier this morning. It was really nice to hear Realm's voice. I'm pleased that he's uh, stepping in and joining you at the party. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, two minutes left before the sprint. How are you guys feeling about uh, where you're at with Nano so far? And how are you feeling about the game? <coughs> Excuse me. Strangely says, I'm in a good mood since I had a good day at work. And listening to music that I heard all the time back in the 2000s, and yo, nostalgia time. That's always cool. Getting the feel of things. DM Stretch will be back soon, just sorting out word count report. Yep, legit. Uh, I always find it's best to do that right after your stream, and then it doesn't accumulate over much. 
Lord Galacron is here with the Varangians at the gates. Good to see you. Strangely says, I feel like I can edit this to be better, but I gotta write this stuff first since I can't edit a blank document. That is the theory behind Nano. I was going over some of the stuff I wrote last night. What a fucking mess. Oh my god. <laughs> it didn't even make sense in some of the sentences. I had to, you know, but you know what? It can wait. Right? I was just poking at it this morning to, while I was getting back into the swing of things. How am I? I am doing really well, Lord Galacron. I'm, uh, you know, my allergies have been a perfect misery to me today. I really have to change my bedding because it's full of cat hair. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm good. So if my eyes look puffy, you know, it's in part that I deliberately broke up my sleep a bit today so I could catch Danny and Greg for a change. But also, it's in part because I've just, I've had stuff irritating my senses all day. So. But otherwise, I'm good. Alright, we're at 15 past the hour. You guys ready to get going? Bring up my writing screen here. Oh, I gotta wipe a smudge out of my middle of my glasses. I'm not used to these yet. Getting more used to them though as I use them, right? That's right in the goddamn middle. And that's a uh, fingerprint too. Uh. Alright, there we go. Ready? And let's begin.
I was just churning along and that one of course as you can see this is kind of a high action part. I won't be as fast in the next sprint. That'd be 342 words for me in that sprint. That's a good one for me. <clears throat> I think that's what I said, right? 342? Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. <coughs> wow, people are doing pretty well here. Masadi says, I just realized something that potentially changed my writing life. I can access manuscripts on my phone, which means I can write my story anywhere. Yes, exactly. One of the things I teach a class on how to find time for writing when you don't have any. It's called Writing in the Cracks, How to Find Time for Writing When You Have None. And I teach it at the Rambo Academy for Wayward Writers, which I should put the link to. I think it's this, just a second here, I'll put it in the chat, that'd be Cat Rambo, as I recall, oh, for crying out loud, dot teachable, dot com. Cat Rambo is a uh, Nebula and World Fantasy award winning writer. She used to be the president of the Science Fiction and Fantasy Writers of America, and I happened to meet her online, and we've become, you know, we've become friends. So. Uh, I've set up this class for her school. It's uh, only nine dollars and one of the things I teach in this class is to uh, if you're on you know digital and you're kind of interested in tech to make sure that you put your writing on the cloud somewhere. And previously I was using Dropbox and Word for Android myself. But now that I've switched to manuscripts, it's much easier because it loads faster, right? And I, you know, it saves after every keystroke. And I know that I don't have to back it up anywhere because it's already backed up around the world. So, yes, big thing that was a feature for me in using manuscripts. So, yes, very excited about that. Siobhan was a little late to the party, but the Varangians were at the gate with her too. Masadi says, I'm a Scrivener user. I don't ever get to write all the way from my computer. I'm totally floored. That's great. And I like how Manuscripts combines elements of both Scrivener and Word. I really love it. I'm so happy right now, she says Masadi. I love Whirlamble even more now. I honestly think that the Manuscripts feature is worth paying for the Master Membership to get a loan. Right? And then you get so much stuff. Yeah. Now, so let's chat more writing, says Rowan. That's great. DM stretches back. Sunny says, stretchy, stretchy, I grew some coral. That's cool. All right, word counts. 110 for Millie's from Darth Nicholas. 326 for Caraptera from Siobhan. 480 for Maleska for Sunny. You Maleskans, you just write like, you're all like, super writers like that. That's amazing. Galacron put in 209 for Millie's. 
And he says he's digging the music. Well, that's cool. I'm glad you like the music. I like it too. Sirenscape.com, by the way. That's, uh, it's music that's intended for, uh, music and sound effects for gaming. But it's also streaming safe, or it's supposed to be, anyway. Oh, we're getting close to dragon of productivity here. Ruin says, great word counts, folk. Keep up the hard work. Yep, I agree completely. Siobhan says, Drat, I need to pick up my pace. Why? Because I was faster than you for once in my life? Alright. Ah, Diane Blavalier is here with 213 points for laughing. Is this for TSS? Toy Soldier Saga. Yes, I am currently writing the third book in the Toy Soldier Saga. Masadi says, I kind of wish the text box wasn't quite so tiny, though. Yes, I've, I've had to play with that a lot. Alright. I am going to get back to it, guys. Here's one of the other magic features I just realized. That I put this in the wrong place. and fixed.
the sprint. Not bad, 263 words for me. Just miss Strange Lace taking off. I'm sorry. Have a good night, Strange Lace. Glad you made your word count. Hope you get some rest. Sunny says, I took typing classes when I was in high school. I learned on harder keyboards to type fast. Yep. Siobhan says, well, they have eight arms to write with. Lord Galacron says, they have their many tentacles on all of the keyboard. No doubt. It's got to be something. Sunny says, I'm going back to growing coral because I don't do 15 minute sprints well. Well, that's fine. You can just, uh, you know, keep writing and ignore me while I talk. It's just here to do, you know, word count reports, really. And what length sprints do you prefer, Sunny? 10 minute sprints. My ADHD is a pain like that. 10 minutes is a good amount of time for me to word or do something and then rest. Yeah, Masadi says, makes sense. I can't do any longer than 15. 10 is fine for me. Slacking, are we? Says Heal. Welcome. Greetings and salivations, says Calgadora. Greetings and salivations to you too. Ah, 526 words for Maleska and Sunny's complaining about the length of the sprints. Maybe I'm glad we have an advantage. <laughs> and chapter done. Uh, that's great. Good job. Excellent. Uh, Siobhan did uh, 369 for Care of Terra. <clears throat> uh, kin, uh, kin or Kin Grad Adventures. And hello, I don't think I've seen you in the channel before. Says they did 226 words. That's excellent. Are you playing the game of tomes and do you intend to enter those for a house? If so, then make sure to select the proper channel point reward option in the uh, in the um, channel points option there below the chat window and put those in for whatever house you're going to represent. On the other hand, if you're just uh, hanging out with us and writing for Nano, awesome and welcome. Javon says that she's still not fast enough. <laughs> yeah, like hell. Okay. 294 for Millie's from Lord Galacrond. Another 495 from Diane for House Lappin, which is great. Uh, Kingrad Adventures says, New to crew, and I found the stream through the World Anvil Discord. Can I learn about the houses somewhere? Yes, you may. Okay, I'm going to make sure I'm not going to miss anything here before I start that, but... Diane says, I was lucky enough to be taught to touch type when I was in the third grade. Right. On the World Anvil Game of Tones page. Yes, it is, but I also have things typed in the chat. There's the page, if you're looking for that. Here are the houses as they currently stand. House Apis has been eliminated, so we start with House Avis. They are, their symbol are birds, represented by their leader, Chrysalia, the Feathered Monarch. Right, uh, this is for Karaptera, led by Siobhan the Writer, who is in the chat. Um, their symbol is a bat. 
This is for House Lappin. That is my house. I'm the house leader. We are represented by the bunny. There. That way. That way. Other way. I don't know. That way. In the top corner. There we go. Um, then we have Millie's. They are represented by a badger, and their leader, Darth Nicholas, is in the chat. Uh, we have House, uh, where am I here? I guess it's just Molluska left, isn't it? Molluska. Represented by uh, Coffee Quills, who we will be raiding after this. And their symbol is a an octopus. Yeah. And welcome, I'm so glad you could join us. Um, missing stuff in the middle. Kelgadora says, I realized I needed to do way more research for my setting and ended up catching a nap for about 20 minutes, I think. Yeah, sometimes you gotta sleep in order to write. I was having that problem this morning. Rowan agrees. Sunny does the tentacle wiggle. Too many buddies, not enough time. <laughs> and DM stretches off to the fridge. I am back to my work. See you in a few minutes.
Oh, extra sprint. I had to do some thinking there. My keyboard is giving me problems. You motherfucker. <laughs> okay, that's right. The problem with this keyboard is that it's battery operated and the batteries don't quite fit right. So they keep slipping out. Well, 204 words for me. <clears throat> Nano badgers don't care, says Lord Galacron. That's hilarious. Javon says to Sunny, I know the feeling, but too many tentacles, not enough time. That's hilarious. Kim Grad says, awesome, thanks. Well, good. I hope it was helpful. Javon is going to crash for a bit. She says she didn't get very good sleep either. Well, good night, and I'll see you probably later tonight. I agree with Rowan. Sleep if you need it, folks. Tired brains and bodies make for poor word counts. Yes, they do. As evidenced by my word count this morning, which was abysmal. Sunny says, sleep is a good thing. I'm fighting off a cold myself, which reminds me, I have Zycam and some sugar-free cold medicine. I've also been getting some good sleep. Luckily, it's pretty mild cold from what I can tell. Unluckily, Sinus hates me. I can sympathize because, like I said, my allergies have been absolutely brutal to me. 175 sauropoda points from Dinosaur Bob for House Avis. Excellent. Rowan recommends peppermint and ginger tea to loosen up the sinuses and make sure they inhale foods. Refuse spicy foods will help. Nice word counts, she says. Keep typing, folks. Remember, every word is more than you had before. That's right. 373 words for House Molesta from Sunny. Well done, I agree. Sunny says, can't do spicy, but I have some lovely loose leaf peppermint that I'm tempted to make. And also lemon ginger tea. Just can't or eat or drink anything for another 20. Yeah, I hear you. Fair enough. The Zycam has at the very least lessened my cold, so I'm willing to take it every few hours and deal with that. No doubt. Though they promised cherry, and I got almost grief. If you can handle a neti pot, it helps too. That's not a bad idea. I think I broke my little neti pot there. Kingrad says they got 200 uh, words, but they didn't put it in for a house, so I don't know if they're still just right along. Oh, they did! House Lapin! Yay! Cool! Welcome to the Warren! We're glad to have you. Alright. Um, 281 for Millie's from Lord Galacrond. Awesome! 516 for Lapin from Diane. Woo! Okay, that officially puts you on the Owl's Law. I'm just saying. Yeah, 159 from House Arachnus for House Lapin, and thank you so much. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. Yeah. Well done, everyone. I agree completely. Duct tape them puppies in. What? What are you even talking about? Okay, gonna mute, watch anime, and maybe add some words, says Masadi, so that's cool. They also make for rather crappy word choices as well, lack of sleep, that is. I'm just a cheering squad. Yeah, alright. So the Dragon of Productivity says we should get back to work. I have to leave the computer for a moment, so 
I am going to put up the break screen here. But keep on writing, guys. I'll join you when I get back and we'll continue.
Okay, there we go. I am back. How'd you guys do during the break? I used that sprint to go and uh, take some Dristan and some Visine, and now I feel like I can breathe better. I shut off the heater in here because it was too hot and I was making me sleepy, and taped those damn batteries into my keyboard. So, productive stuff. Just before the break, DM Stretch says he did a grand total of 25 words for Varangia, uh, offered up to Caracterra due to the food sprint, which is fair enough. Food is good, you need food in order to think and write. So, good use of your time. Um, yeah, Rowan, thanks for covering, Rowan, I appreciate it. And also we had uh, 396 words for Molluska from Sunny. Excellent. Sunny says, I'm on a roll. I'm hoping to have this chapter done in the next half hour. Excellent. Then I'm going to have to decide if I have the energy to get through coffee stream or if I should flop into bed and play some DC online. Hey, if you've earned your break, you've earned your break, right? you got to take breaks occasionally. It's important. Sunny says, okay, I've stared into the depth of my flavored water. Back to work. <laughs> Hydrate is good, and so are words. Yep. 281 to House Lappin from Kingrad. Awesome, thank you. Much appreciated. 151 for Millie's from Lord Galakron. DM Stretch is doing some CSS on the last article he was working on. That's cool. However you want to use the pro productivity sprints are fine by me. Whoa! 638 for Lappin from Diane, a.k.a. Blah the Larry. Awesome. Okay, so you're officially part of the Asla. Um, I don't know if you've read Watership Down. I don't know if you even know what I'm talking about when I talk about the Asla. But in Watership Down, they were the, uh, um, kind of the royal guard of the chief rabbit, more or less. In some warrens, they enforced the law, and in others, they were basically just strong arms for the chief rabbit. So, but either way, it was the elite rabbits who could fight, so good for you. 125 for Arachnus to House Lappin. Had a freeze. Eh, it happens. Yeah, it happens. It's all good. Sometimes I get 25 words done in a sprint. Whatever. They're more words. You didn't have them before. They're good words. It's awesome. So, that's great. Yep, pretty good stuff, guys. Keeping at it. That's excellent. Had to refresh. Ah, uh, sorry about that. Yeah, Twitch is twitchy. And sometimes when you change anything, including the break screen, it'll, it'll flip. So, I think this is a good time to start another sprint. You guys ready? I'll give you a minute if you don't, if you're, if you're not here. We're at, uh, 735. We'll be raiding coffee quills at eight o'clock on my on my clock, which is what time? GMT. Uh, looks like four o'clock p or a.m. GMT. We will be raiding coffee quills. So, and they will continue to guide you in your writing. The leader of House Molluska. They've already finished nano. They're trying to do like four nanos. They're insane. But I admire that. Yeah. Anya is here. Good evening, Sable. Hope the sprints have been productive. They certainly have. I'm uh, I'm getting some stuff done. I feel good about it. And Cal may have to make a food run. Eh, it happens. Um, somebody will be back here as well in a couple of hours. 
coffee is on by my clock from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock p.m. And after that, we are taking over for two hours. It's, it's supposed to be Aaron, but he may not be up to it. And if not, I will be taking his place. So, how is Toy Soldier Saga so far? Well, I'm pretty happy about it. Um, I'm finally getting book three done and I'm building towards the climax of the book. There's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, it's pretty intense. Gonna make a bio run real quick. Yep, fair enough. Rowan says, important to keep the word machine fuel. Do you want to do one more sprint before you go or do you want to do that now there, Galacron? It's up to you. Check out the awesome coffee cup. This is from my friend J.I. Rogers, author of the um, uh, Corpse Files series. This is uh, her universe in the Corpse Files. So, it's a Patreon gift, so it's pretty cool. 510 sauropod words from Dinosaur Bob for House Avis. Good job. Sort of ignoring the sprint boundaries, but I'm on a roll. Well, don't. Don't pay any attention to them. They're there to help you. If they're not helping you, feel free to mute things and carry on writing. That's totally fine. Or listen to the music and carry on writing. I don't mind. It's any words that you've turned in during the course of a, a stream that is one of the participating streams, so have at it, right? Don't, don't do things that don't hurt you. I think Sunny's pretty much doing that, too, ignoring the sprints, because the timing isn't right, so... And that's cool. <clears throat> and nothing wrong with that. They work for me. That's why I'm doing them. I figure maybe if I shut up for a few minutes, it helps people. So, I can tell you what we're going to do here. Uh, at 7.40, which is two minutes, we're going to go for one more sprint. That'll take us to uh, five minutes to eight. And then we'll do a wind down, and then we'll raid coffee quills. So... Sadi says, um, I'm um, what? Sounds good, says Larry. Is it, or blah, blah, Larry, Diane. Yeah. Is there a way to turn on spell check? On manuscripts? No. There is no spell check. You can either use Grammarly, which will do that for you, or you can search things in Google, which is what I do. Hello, Coffee. Good to see you. We're going to be raiding you at 8 o'clock my time, so that's approximately 21 minutes from now. So, just FYI. I don't know if you've been lurking for some time or not. What? The other option is, if you really want, and you know, why bother in Nano, right? Um, copy it into... Uh, you know, like you can export it and then you can run a spell check after or you can uh, copy it into Word documents and spell check that from there. I've done both. So, yeah. All right, it's 740. Let's get going, shall we? And sprint.
excuse me.
that's the sprint. Two hundred and eighty five for me. We'll go to the downtime screen since we're almost done. Whoops, wrong downtime. There we go. Looks like before the break we had uh, 440 words from Sunny for House Molluska. This audience was like, one more sprint! Yay! Rowan said, may the words be ever in your favor. Masadi said 258 words for Molluska. Good job. Sunny says, and I finished my chapter a while ago, I am not making it to coffees. I'm going to be taking over my bed and making a cat grumpy at me. You can't see it, but my bed's over here, and two of my three cats are, like, spread out all over my blanket, taking up the whole bed. This is part of the reason why I have allergy problems right now. I have really got to find another blanket, because it's just full cat hair. So. 189 words for Karaktera from Anya. Have a good night, Sunny. Yes, sleep well. 492 for Lappin from Diane. Excellent. 257 for Lappin from Kingrad. Good work. Good work, gang. You guys have all kicked some ass tonight. It's awesome. Sunny says, I have two of the fuzzy beasts. I fully expect to have my blankets A, stolen, and B, be pinned. Yup. <laughs> Oh, there's a true story, eh? I can tell you, I know all about it. All right, two minutes left, so make sure you get in your word counts before we change to coffee quill stream. Sunny says, mostly because I have a king-sized fleece blanket that they love to cuddle under. Yeah, yeah, I have this, like, fake sheepskin blanket. It's amazing. Yeah. But it's toasty that way, Sunny. Yes, it is. I cannot bring myself to kick the cats out of the bed. I should. I really should, because they're bad for me, because I have allergic... Oh, I guess I well slept last night, right? Um, you know, I'm allergic to cat hair, but they're so cute, and they're so warm, and they're so snuggy, and they purr, and I find that very relaxing, so it's like, okay, I'll just, you know change my bed sheets every few days which really has to be done but the problem is I don't know where my blankets are we washed them and they disappeared so I don't have to track one down Sunny says it is and it's getting cold down here in the desert I'm about to pull out my smaller fleece and my quilt but for tonight beds shall happen very soon yeah I totally hear ya it snowed here today I think it's still snowing outside uh, about the time that the sun started to set. It's the second snow already this year. It's gonna be cold winter, I think. We're gonna have lots of arctic fronts coming down. But in part, right, that is because... Oh, excuse me. I was reading an article about um, how climate change is affecting the arctic ice. And part of the ocean has not yet frozen over in the Arctic Ocean like it's supposed to, right? Um, it's too warm because the uh, methane is starting to melt out of the permafrost in, like, Russia and Siberia and whatnot. Which could be disastrous for the human race. Um, once we get the runaway greenhouse effect, we could be screwed. But at any rate, it's, still, it's not frozen quite yet. 
And so what's happening is that instead of the slipstream keeping all the cold art air around the top of the globe, <clears throat> right, um, the, it, it's not holding it in and you're getting variations, so stuff's starting to look like this, waving coming down, so we're going to get lots of temperature variation over the course of the winter, probably. I have a down blanket, says Rowan, and my cats love cuddling with me and it. Yes, I bet they do. Sunny says, no snow, but, or no, Anya says, keep your talk about snow and cold away from me. I much prefer heat. Fair enough. I don't know whether I like hot or cold better. I, you know, I'm pretty normal. I like it pretty average. Right. No snow but wet, says Sunny, and with that, all the critter snuggles to you guys, and I hope the words come easy to you. And to you too, good night, Sunny, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Rest well. Rowan said, I know Farmer's Almanac said cold and snowy here in BC. DM Stretch says, that could even cause a new ice age, Sable. Yeah, it could. Welcome to climate change. Get your fucking shit together, guys. Come on now. It's, it's, I don't know. People have difficulty foreseeing long-term consequences. And I think this is one of the things that is difficult for people to get it together. Kind of like how people, you know, for a while they're really good about masks and about social distancing. And after a while they go, ah, nah, you know what? This has gone on for too long. And they just started doing it. So, you know. Undead Horde word count from Aaron. 426 words for the Night King. Good job. I know how sorry you are, honey. That is excellent. Anya says, I'm one of those lizard people. My blood runs a bit colder than normal, so I find it hard to stay warm. Aaron has a reverse problem. He has had a near-death experience twice, and he runs about a couple degrees hotter than most people as a result, so he cannot stand heat. Uh, he doesn't, like, leave the house in the summer, and in the winter, he goes around in shorts. He's disgusting, and I am bitterly jealous. But on the other hand, he's a very good snuggie when it is cold, I'm just saying. Aaron has been kicking some butt today. The Undead Horde is on a relentless march. They are, uh, you know, they, they have not been slacking this week. The rest of us have kind of been slacking off. They have not been. Right? All three of them have been definitely churning out the words. And we're going to pay for it in the long run. They're doing a great job. So just shout out. You, you know, shout out to Aaron, Danny, and Sarukas. They are kicking some butt. Just saying. Okay, thanks all. This was fun. Um, I rather enjoyed kind of jumping in and doing this impromptu writing stream. I may be back tonight. What will happen if the Undead Horde overtakes a house with words? Good question, Anya. Um, the answer is nothing until the end. Right? The Undead Horde does not officially count as a house in terms of elimination. The Undead Horde gets to plod on until the very end. It will, however, determine whether or not the living get to take the Iron Tome or whether the Iron Tome shall be lost forever, at least for this year, to winter. So. Anastase is here, says, hey, I'm staying on my meager curve. That's great. Good job. Lord Galacron says, the zombies are buzzing everywhere. Yes, they are. They've been in every stream today. They've been insane. Um, Anastase says, it's not as good as the professionals, but you're doing just great. You were doing just fine. Steady, slow and steady wins the race. You can only eat the elephant one bite at a time. Right? There is no other way to do it. Uh, my meager curve is meager too. Right? Like, I'm not as good as some of the professionals, and I am a professional, so, you know, whatever. Right? Um, Rowan says, just wait till menopause. It changes everything in regard to hot and cold. Hey, I had my first legit hot flash. Like, couple weeks ago. That was fun. Yeah. Lord Galacron says, I, but I've got my fly swatter ready. Aaron's laughing and cackling madly at us. You're probably doing better than I am, Max, says DM Stretch. 
probably. Dan Stretch has been, you know, sticking with it and, you know, getting done what he can get done. And that is just great. That is the purpose of Nano. The purpose of Nano is not to blow everybody's mind with your astounding word count. The purpose is to finish the race and stick to the course, right? That's the purpose. So if you're doing that, you are winning. Anya says, my curve is slowly going back up after my two day word splurge. That's excellent. Yeah, my word count will not be as great today as it has been in other days. I guess I'll uh, add in my words so far here. Since the last time I added words this morning, I have managed to do 911 words. So that's about what I've done over the course of the sprints today. Or this stream anyway, which I can't really complain about, can I? Right, just adding it up here. I guess I might as well show you guys my screen, eh? Yeah, there we go. Started at, what time was it? It was 6 p.m. when we went live. And it is now 8 p.m. There we go. So I did 1,936 words today, which I guess is better than I thought. I can't complain. I'm at 23,553 words, so I might cross, if I'm really lucky, I might cross uh, 25k tonight, but more likely I will be crossing 25k tomorrow. So. Aaron says, I hope you stay living until the end, Stretch. That's cool. Rowan says, I was stripping off clothes while shoveling snow today. Awesome. She used to be like, you know, turn up the heat. Turn up the heat more. Turn it up more. How about more? We're like, Rowan, the heat says it's like 90 degrees in here. Turn down the dive heat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I think persistence should be rewarded. Exactly. Yep. Okay, good job, everyone. Um, I might see you in a couple hours. If not, Aaron will. In the meantime, we're going to go raid Coffee Quills. And don't forget, when you get there, that the raid shout is prepared to be boarded because we are the Sables Privateers. Thanks so much for joining me. This was great. And I'll see you in a little while. Oh, Angstase getting her words in. That's great. 157 for lapping. Good work. All right. Have a good evening, everyone.